Hi there and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker, dear friends and deep thinkers. We're starting before a man named Zorek, the keeper of the tomb here. And we should probably... We should start to attack him. We will tell him of our stories and he will then attack us. Um, Okay, we, we want to prepare first because we don't want Emmanuel to move. stand here in the front line. A Mary will speak instead. Are you ready? Um, I'll let me tell you of my deeds. Are you ready? Once you start talking, I won't let you stop the story and leave without a fight. Are you ready? I'm ready. Listen well. Oh, I'm listening. But don't think... To defile your lips and my ears with lies, I can see your thoughts as clear as I'll see your guts if you don't speak true. Yeah, I killed the stag lord. I killed the stag lord. Now, let's see, I, I plundered troubled the underground monster city. I killed Vordekai. Ancient necromancer and ruler of the Cyclops. Mages, giants and undead, three of the world's most disgusting things. Yes, that's something to be proud of. What else can you boast? I plundered Trouble, the underground monster city. What glory is in there in plundering a city if you spared the life of their king? Soft coward like you isn't capable of worthy deeds. Enough talk if you want to prove yourself. Draw your weapon. I need inspiration. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Uh, wanna be, be behind here. Same goes with him. Let me haste, everyone. And take a step back. Let me sing the song of our people. Uh, Gaia? I don't know. What could we do? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. Let's go for a prayer. Okay, what the heck? He's attacking Chris Tristan. Oh. You offend me. Uh, why did we prepare for this guy? I thought there was some kind of epic thing here, but he only attacked yeah, Tristan a bit. Okay, Mr. Zorek. That was kind of... Uh, well, we got a fortune plus three. Uh, headband of inspired wisdom, amulet of natural armor, cloak of resistance. Plus three, that's co good. I mean, that's pretty good. Um... Natural armor, ring of protection. We got that fortune. Uh, price in descending order. Where's the freaking fortune? Give me that. There is the fortune plus three. Um, this is plus two animal bane. Uh, yeah. Let's give us the... The plus three one, eh? I just got a th plus three fortune. That seems pretty good. Um, full plate. So that was all. I still cannot believe it. For that guy, we just... Okay, I mean, that was the combat. <laughs> oh, 
look! Let's take it all. Follow if you dare. Smell incense in the stale air. Zorak. Okay, Zorak. Um, the great chieftain's tomb reeks of death. Oh, that's Armag. He looks a little bit obsessed. Not the ancient death of the chieftain himself, but recent death. Dismembered bodies are scattered around the room. The blood staining and pooling on the floor. You barely even recognize the remains as human. They were once members of the Tiger Lords, the barbarians who followed their leader to this tomb only to fall by his hand. Armak himself stands in the center of the room, clenching a bloodstained sword. He breathes heavily like a hunted animal, his eyes wild and aimless. His voice is a hoarse as he shouts at a slim woman in a grey cloak in short, abrupt phrases. One of the defaced sisters, huh? The yo woman's yellow eyes are fearless as she watches the chieftain through the holes in the veil that covers her face. Lies! Armag's entire life, a lie! Armag is not Armag! The sword says it is Armag! The sword... It calls Armag an imposter. What now? What? What to do? Who is Armag now? He's in an identity crisis. Hush, my boy. Come. You really are Armag. There have been no lies. But your soul has slept in the sword for so long, it just doesn't recognize you. It will soon, though, and everything will be all right. You know you are a hero. A great chieftain. The greatest of all chieftains ever born into this world. Remember that. Hold on to it. Great deeds await you. Soon. Very soon. Stop lying! Armag is not even Armag anymore! Was never Armag in the first place! Armag is like the eight mothers now. No name. No tribe. No destiny. What's left now? What? Only revenge! Mm, okay, so we cannot talk to him, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we have greater magic fang. Do we also have greater magic fang with this guy? With our little guy here? I think we don't. Or do we? No, we don't. Okay. At least delay until here. Smile on. Are we hasted yet? Still? No, not really. Who is that? The nightmare guys? Mm. We'll wait until Emmanuel was on. I mean, Gaia can maybe cost something. She can give us some greater magic fang. Leo can wait until hasted. Emmanuel should haste. Miley, what is... is there anything? There's the ferocious champion. Smiley could char charge Armag. The greatest warriors of... oh my goodness. Oh, I hope he doesn't strike us down, really. Um, hello, could you get in this? Uh, I don't know, I'm... I'm unsure what we can get here. I get here too. 
Can get behind on that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Thankfully, Smiley is well buffed. Lindsay will sing. We should probably destroy these from afar. Christian. Yeah, let's get in here a bit. How far is the prayer? Okay. We can get forward a bit and then prayer up. forward a bit we can also hit the R mag I think we have a chance with her to hit R mag for you. it was just a chance okay Protect me. This cannot... what how why <laughs> My goodness me, okay. Let's finish this guy. Why is he just taking down Ah oh, now we cannot again? We have to load again. I'm Ah oh. Because we cannot res her right now. She will be bugged out. Oh, 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 oh. This is so terrible. I wish this game would allow us to rest, but it doesn't. You should have run! Right, the armag is not a problem. It's it's the bugs. I've talked about this often. If you drop a character and you don't have a rest spell, right then, after the combat they have been killed in. I mean, we can we can try. We, we can we can try one thing when Tristian is there. Maybe Breath of Life works. Smiley. You can see that Armag's not really the problem. You can go here. Lens um, Any last wishes? Yeah, any damage is good damage. Tristan, can you breath of life her? Is she? She's she's recovered. She's I mean she's dead, but not really that dead. Now we only have to destroy Armag in time, and we have to do that with Octavia because she's the only one who can do that. Apparently. I'll fight if I have to. Uh, great, that didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that much damage is uh, that's unmitigable. We have to kill this guy in the first round. Okay, we have to <laughs> we have to load the last save. Yeah, like 260 damage. That's just not something we can tank. No. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. So this time... 
Okay, we'll do it like that. Uh, everyone stand around Mr. Zorik and just destroy him. We've, we've seen that. We've hit huh? him here. I am never wrong. Here. Emmanuel's on. On fire. Mm. A simple mm, smile goes okay, a I can't way. go to the back line. Right here, my friend. Christian can go back a bit. You Octavia too. Me. Leo will go here. Now I'm going to talk to him. Okay. I'll tell you of my deeds. I'm ready. Listen well. I killed Vordekai. And I killed the Stag Lord. The Stag Lord terrorized the area. The Brevens bestowed the title of Baron on you for his head. That's something to be proud of. Uh, I am the ruler. I destroyed a whole battle party of mighty tiger lords. You defeated tiny fighters from my own tribe. That's something to be proud of. What else can you boast? I'm in trouble. He will hate that again. Because we uh, let alive the leader. I'm the ruler of the Stone Lands. No one dares doubt my glory. You can clearly see I'm worthy to enter, Cleric. Step aside. Not just anyone can boast such exploits. I, Zorik, declare before the face of Gorum that you're truly a great chieftain, worthy to enter Armax in a sumptum. The Cleric bows his head and steps out of your way. Whoa! We didn't have to kill him, apparently. That's crazy. Okay, um, of course, it also means we don't get his plus three fortune, but hey, okay, we can live with that, I, get, I think. Now let's try this again with Mr. Gorum, uh, with Mr. Not Gorum, so an, otherwise, um, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do Armag again. And this time with more buffs readily available. I'll take care of it. What you want? Mm. Friendship lasts forever. So he'll be charging in, I guess. And we might just give him some creeping doom. If that is possible. So here we go. Um, How may I help? Adventures are exciting. So what can we send in here? We can send in the Creeping Doom. Summon spider swarms and then... We've seen Armag. He slaughtered the defaced sisters, and we, uh, we have the spider swarms around us now. Octavia shall haste us all. Spider swarms as well. <laughs> Emmanuel can do things. Okay, we can we can go angelic aspect, but I don't know if that should be. Mm. What does the angelic aspect give us all to reflection? Hmm. Not good aligned weapons. Oh, 
Well, of Lindsay singing the song of our people and hitting Armag. The spider swarms. <laughs> transform and maybe in, into a huge elemental we'll see what this does oh. air elemental earth elemental damage reduction five damage reduction five yeah Immune to sneak and critical hits. Yeah. Here we go. A mirror. Uh, is there more buffs? Yeah, there's more buffs to be had. Leo also waiting for more buffs. Everybody's on the spider swarms. We need to wait until Tristan gives us the prayers. <laughs> Oh my goodness me! Nearly killed us! Give me the prayer now. That's what we need to do. No matter what, dismember the Armag. No. That wasn't good enough yet. Okay, we need to rage up. Um, oh, come on now. This was terrible. Leo. Octavia. Mm hmm. Kill the Armag. Can we do that? Of course, I forgot to buff up, but... Yeah, we could, we could fireball, right? Controlled fireball. Controlled fireball deals minimum damage to our allies. Seem to do well. Emmanuel. Uh, that's this place. Go to Mary. Lindsay. Um. Swarms! The swarms shall kill the Armag. I mean, they're doing damage. Not too much, but... Gaia versus Armag. Does some damage. <laughs> These skeletons, they just go poof. <laughs> oh, freaking hell. What the actual 
I mean, we're at minus 42, so we might be able to revive her. <sighs> so we cannot. Okay, great. Smiley versus Armag. That was good. Leo. More. Minimum damage. Again, maybe. That was the reflex save. Great. Uh, I mean, he's nearly dead. So let's do this again. He's dead. Combat's finished. Ah! I'm listening. Oh, of course we cannot do it right now. Do we have Breath of Life here? Oh, we have to load this freaking hell because we. Uh, Confide in me. Can we still? We can still Breath of Life. Let's see. The exhausted barbarian falls to one knee, the blood seeping from his wounds, falling to stain the floor. He doesn't look at you. His gaze wanders around the room until it stops on the bodies of his tribesmen. Stand, we need to talk. With great difficulty, the barbarian regains his feet. His bloodshot eyes dart about nervously, studying you from head to toe. Who are these defaced the sisters? The eight mothers fed Armag, raised him, Taught him everything he knows. Since he was born, Agmag knew no other family and no other tribe. They told Armag of his great past and his even greater future. And every word was a lie. Armag was just their trained dog. He jumped when told, growled, tore their enemies to pieces. He had no idea for what or why he was fighting. One more thing. Once, mm. Armag heard them talk about another sister. The one they all served. When he asked, they lied. Said there was no ninth sister. That Armag had misheard them. He should have understood then that they weren't to be trusted. Those who lie once are not to be believed twice. And what are you doing here? Armag, the great chieftain of the past, was buried here. Armag, the great chieftain of the present, was born again. He had to return here to reunite with his soul the one sleeping within the sword, to become whole again, to restore his power, to reign over the land again, to challenge the gods again. That's what the Eight Mothers told Armag. They lied. They were lying all along. So why did you kill the sister? I mean, I would have probably done something similar probably not killed but I mean revenge right Armag took the sword and spoke to Armag's soul the sword said Armag was not Armag but just an impudent brat ancient Armag's rage blazed like a torch in the night all that was hidden was unveiled at once Everything. The eight mothers raised Armag. And since childhood, they kept saying Armag was a great man with a great destiny. Lies! Lies and more lies! Armag is not Armag. Armag is just a toy for the eight witches. But no more. Armag's life is over. 
but at least he dies free from all lies. A lie is what Nyrissa and her servants live, and I was part of that lie. Why did you kill your people, man? Ancient Armag, great chieftain of the past, invincible hero, Gorum's champion. He served only Gorum. Not his people, no. Only Gorum. When he killed, it was not to feed his people, not to gain glory, not for wealth, not for power. No, it was the other way around. He fed his people to make them better killers. Hmm. The blade was thirsty. It quenched its thirst on the blood of Armag's fellow tribesmen. Ancient Armag was a great warrior, that much is true. But he was a bad chieftain. He would send his people to their deaths for no good reason. Armag wasn't a hero. Armag was a kinslayer. No, oh, and why did you attack Brevoy? The Eight Mothers used to say that today's Armag is a great chieftain, just like ancient Armag. Mm. He would defeat anyone he wanted as soon as he could find his soul. They said all he needed to do was find the tomb. Then he could conquer Restov, conquer all of Brevoy. Just find the tomb. But did ancient Armag need some stupid tomb? No! He just fought and won! If Armag is really Armag, he would be bound to win. But this Armag is not that Armag. He led his people into a trap. Realized too late that he won't be able to take rest of. And that's when the eight mothers told him they had found the tomb. Armar entered the tomb to become stronger, to save his people, to bring them glory and riches. But all he found was death. Ancient Armag and present Armag have that in common. What will you do if I let you live? The soul, trapped in the soul, his power became his curse. But the sword's curse brought Armag's power too. His rays burned away all lies, burned away false destiny. Armag sees things clearly now. Armag will create his own destiny. A living soul is stronger than any ancient dead man. The ghost in this sword can whisper whatever he likes. He will never dominate Armag again. All right, let's hope that is so. You're free, go make your own destiny. The one holding Armag's life in his hands didn't take it. This cannot be forgotten. Let us fraternize, become sworn brothers. Arma draws on Ovin Urban's edge across his palm, then extends his bleeding hand to you. Yeah, all right, brothers. brothers. Brothers, you run your palm along the blade of the ancient sword and shake Armag's hand. For the first time, he looks directly into your eyes. Brothers. Oh, I think I shed a tear from my left eye. It's all emotions. Such a beautiful finale of the story. I can't wait to write it down. Turning an enemy into a friend and giving him hope. I believe Saren Ray herself smiled at your deeds today. Armag sheaths on Ovin Urban and leaves the two. And Amir is still not revived. But now. <laughs> we still did it. Good, good, good. So. Armag lived. And Amiri lived, thankfully, as well. Wow. Share your troubles. 
Uh, now let's give Amiri something to heal to. Have neutralized poison. Cure critical wounds, here we go. And you have to transform back into a man. A woman, that is. Here I am. Here you are, here you are. Most valuable. Let's drink up to your health, Amiri. That was pretty good. So let's take all of this, the Cleric of Gorum with the amulets and stuff. Whoa! We took down Mr. Armag. Please, please. I'm there. So much, so much. Wonderfully, wonderful. Um, we can plunder all of this. <gasps> There's something over there. Secret three thousand gold. About this. This barbarians placed their trust in their great chieftain and fell by his hand. So we can seek something here. And we will do that in the next episode. When we explore the small rest of this tomb. Let's see what we find here. Let's have a short look here. Um, the Mad Chieftain is no longer a threat to our lands, but what of his tribe? Will they remain in Numeria now? They are leaderless. Or will they gather again to wait a campaign against one of our allies or even us? To be able to sleep soundly at night, we need to seek out the Tiger Lords and discover their intentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We confronted him. I mean, we can do one last thing. Maybe we can uh, talk to Sorak. If he has anything to say about that. Could be interesting, right? Is it? Is he still there? Or it's just... It just I, I think he just disappeared. Yeah. Sorak's gone. Done for. Well, that was pretty interesting. So have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan. Until soon, for more treasures and more adventures in Armag's tomb and maybe beyond with some heavy overload. <laughs> See you soon. Happy gaming.